AutoCAD Integration 3D The challenge that this wizard addresses is an online integration of engineering base with a 3D design tool like AutoCAD. There are some other cases in which an online connection is not needed, but instead, an offline connection with the delta management of values will be required. An example of this type of integration will be shown in a different video. The integration shown here is developed for AutoCAD 3D 2012. But this is an example of the flexibility and capability of engineering base to connect to any other 3D tool. We have a PN idea of a simple distillation column with its condenser, reboiler, buffer tank, and pumps. The same plan is available in the 3D model. We want to link the buffer tank in the PNID to the 3D model. First, we find the device in Engineering Base 3. Then we go to Engineering Base 3D Ribbon in AutoCAD. Select the tank and click on Build Association. Now there is a direct link between the 2D world and 3D world. Using this link, we can navigate from the tree or directly from the PNID to the 3D model. After the online association between engineering base and the 3D tool has been made, the 3D model will benefit from the same database as all the 2D drawings. This means that if the name of the tank is changed in the 3D view, this change is made simultaneously in the 2D view and in the 3D model. As long as the association between the 2D and 3D remains, all the attributes are synchronized. You can see that navigation between the 3D model and engineering base is easily possible in either direction. Also, it can be seen that you can navigate from a group of items in AutoCAD, such as a group of pipes and fittings, to a single pipe item in engineering base. When the association is deleted, a message will be sent to the message box in engineering base that shows to the users that an association between the 2D and 3D has been broken up. Depending on the workflow, it is not always necessary to start the engineering process in the 2D environment. You can also add the 3D model of the device and then create the device inside the database of engineering base. Then it can be dragged and dropped to the correct location and finally added to the PNID drawing. However, most of the time in Enduring Base, design will start from the tree view. For example, here we will create a new pump in the tree view, we will define the type and then choose a catalog for our pump. If in the catalog that we chose, 
there is a 3D pump model available, we can add this 3D model to our 3D design. Here, you can see that we simply drag and drop the 2D shape to the PN ID and select the insert into 3D to add the pump to the 3D model. Building associations item by item is easy when the PN ID and 3D model are being built in parallel. However, in the case where both of these drawings are already complete and available, the Automatic Association Manager will help users to build multiple associations in one step. Here, you can see that by using the Auto Connection button, I'm associating multiple devices all at once.